Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Does your urban canopy look something like this? Do you have lots of mature trees in your communities across Canada? Has your community accepted funding from the Housing Accelerator Transition Project, which means that blanket rezoning will become the norm in your urban community? Meaning that many of these beautiful mature trees will be ripped out of the ground to make room for more housing. Theoretically, more affordable housing, but we know that's not really the case. Now just think for a moment. These kind of trees have been paid for, planted, and tended by your municipality for hundreds of thousands of dollars for the past several decades. So you're really just throwing away a lot of taxpayers' money if you're ripping down these trees. On May 15th, to solve this problem, Jonathan Wilkinson announced a new program with the Federation of Canadian Municipalities, wherein 1.2 million trees will be planted, creating 2,000 new jobs. <laughs> now, you know, if you're a tree planter, that's actually not a lot of trees to be planted and certainly not by that nominal number of people. So what this really means that is that this program will be ensconcing long-term employees in the municipal structure to plant trees to replace the trees that the Housing Accelerator Fund is tearing down. Does that make sense to you? You're a taxpayer. You've paid millions of dollars to develop a beautiful urban canopy in your community, which is now going to be destroyed by the Housing Transition Accelerator Fund and the Blanket Rezoning uh, Initiative. And then you get to pay again for the new Federation of Canadian Municipalities tree planting program, which the minister assures us will plant 1.2 million trees. Well, so far, the previous program that the federal government came up with at the behest of Greta Thunberg to plant 2 billion trees hasn't done very well. In fact, CBC's The House has a brutal shredding of the theory of planting all those trees in Canada. It's just not going to happen, certainly not in the time frame allotted and not for the money provided and it's not going to cut emissions as projected. So what are we taxpayers to think when all these kind of green crony tree planting programs are going on? They're just basically picking your pocket to put the money in the pockets of someone in either the tree planting community or the carbon credit nature-based climate solutions community. Really, it's just a green crony capitalist Ponzi scheme, as far as I can see, and it needs a lot more investigation. So I know there's a lot of citizen journalists out there these days who are doing a great job of digging into the files and finding out where the money comes from and where it goes. So I hope that somebody will get on the case. Nonetheless, these are beautiful trees and they shouldn't have to be torn down for a housing transition accelerator program that is based on faulty logic and bad planning by the federal government in the first place. And it's not a climate initiative. They'll try and sell it to you that way. It's not going to save the planet. It's just going to waste a lot of your money. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.